low and it's low and low from early morning to night and from your childhood to death you hear only one word low and everybody knows it but then nobody knows it <laughs> It's an ocean. Love is an ocean everywhere. Everywhere it's an ocean. And still you suffer with water. You are surrounded by the ocean. In Kannada there is a beautiful song. And I too loved it. It's such a fantastic song. The song goes like this. Prema Chandrama Kaige Sikude Heli Tangali That means Tell me My lover is telling Prema Chandrama Prema is like the Moon Can you hold it in your hand? You dear Soft Beautiful cold wind <laughs> Sigmund Freud, this is the sixth quote, said love is a state of temporary psychosis. Love is a state, which I have already told, love, I kept on telling from the last 1100 and odd days, that if you like it, you pluck it. But if you love it, you water it. And people who are in a state, state of temporary psychosis. The real meaning of psychosis is a severe mental condition in which thought and emotions are so affected that contact is lost with the external reality. You get disconnected because Sigmund Freud said it's a temporary psychosis. Sigmund Freud again went wrong. He's flowing with the materialistic world of love. He doesn't know that love is a connected link to the Sanskriti, to your family. The whole of West, the whole of Europe lost contact with their family. They destroyed their family. They don't have connection with the joint family and the family. It's just a simple example. Father and mother, husband and wife, girlfriend and boyfriend goes together and the husband buys the thing he wants, the wife buys the things she wants, they pay separately. When husband and wife goes together, father and mother goes together, father and mother will be fighting that for what the child wants in ice cream, you pay 50% and you, I pay 50%. It is only mental calculation of greed which has destroyed and created a psychological mental institution in the whole of western culture. It has pipped into our Asian culture also, but it is just 0.1%. We can rectify the 0.1% because the gap is very, very, very narrow. In the West, the gap is so much to connect it back to your culture is very, very difficult. Love is a state of temporary cycle. No, no, Sigmund Freud, it is not a temporary cycle. It has become a permanent psychosis. The whole of Western countries has become a mental asylum. And it is spreading out to the Asian culture and to the African culture. Africa is totally lost, yes. Asia is also getting lost. But then one small man sitting in Bangalore city in Devanagali called Swami Rakumji is trying to connect back. And they were everybody still. It is impossible. Stop talking this nonsense of family, joint family in the family. To who will listen to you? But it is my duty to connect. And you need guts to connect. Like Baba Amte said, knit India. You have to knit the love back. Sigmund Freud said, love is a state of temporary psychosis. A severe mental condition. Not severe. It has become a way of life. See, mental condition is a way of life in all the schools, universities and companies. And they wanted people to be in that state so that they can remote control them with their salaries, with their promotions, with the with the high gadgets, technologies and non-stop bombardment through the mobiles to the televisions yes and to the cricket games yes people are just hooked up 
to that poison, that the drug, which they call it growth, which they call it literate, which they call it education. <laughs> they destroyed it. A severe mental condition, which thought and emotions are so afraid. Thought and emotions. There is no emotions. I go to houses. People accept my Karnataka state villages. When I go, they put a plate, they clean my feet and they do an arati with a beautiful lamp and they put some color into my head and all and give me a drink and take me and say, I was so happy. Because there is a mental state in the southern India, southernmost India, mental state. You go to the house, they don't even invite you into the house. They don't even give you a drink. Such condition, they call it 100% literacy in that particular state, but mental in asylum. Swami Venda uh, said, it is a mental asylum, that state is a men mental asylum. And it is spreading like wildfire. And when Corona came, I was shocked for a second. I knew the love of Karnataka. I know the love when I go to house to house in Madhya Pradesh or in um, Delhi or, or different different states where I was there. I was shocked they do the same thing. And Corona came, I knew this is not only respect, it is because they fear Swamiji's like us. Because we go to everybody and we hug everybody. We help everybody. We meet so many people, the house people knows anybody coming from outside they will carry diseases. But if you tell them to take bath and enter, they will get angry, especially sandwiches like that. So they better put the plate, clean our legs so that dirt should come inside. And fire, they put the aradi. Aradi is to kill all the virus around your body. But still it is something better than nothing because love sometimes to be purified and the purification is such in such a beautiful spiritual way it's shocking you fall in love with it that is the real love sigmund freud please try to understand love is this i could have i could have gone with sigmund freud i could have uh, talked better about sigmund freud because who is sigmund freud the western countries have created sigmund freud like a demigod or more than a demigod they worship him but all sigmund freud talked was for the materialistic world for the, the rulers to suppress to make the people a nobody, Sigmund Freud must have deeply uh, digged and found out some truth. But it has not helped. Love is a state of temporary cycle, no temporary. Thoughts and emotions are so affected, the contact is not with the external world. What is the external reality? Your wife was sitting in front of you and you do not know to look into her eyes, into her ears, such a beautiful figure. You do not know how to kiss her, to hug her, to melt and become one with her. That is the mental. External reality has been lost. You get disconnected because you went to plug. Everything you went to plug. You, everything you see, you see through the borrowed prism, borrowed knowledge of your stupid education which you have got it. It is needed that you have to clean up your mind. And it is very easy. You might ask me, now tell me Swami Rakamji, what is the path out of that mental asylum which we are all locked inside? Simple. How could we go back to a family? Our family is lost. How, do, how could we talk to relatives? Relatives have been disconnected. Yes, they taught you. They continuously hundred times said a lie becomes a truth said um, Hitler, Adolf Hitler, and everybody has become the followers of Hitler. They kept on telling your relatives are the, your related thieves. Don't talk to them, don't contact them. Friends are the people. But I am the one who said, friends, they drop the F, they rent you, and then they end you. I am not telling you shouldn't have friends. But you have no right to have friends if you have no connection with your relatives. It might be dangerous. And to connect back to your relatives. It is just simple. Who is your lover next to you? I don't have a girlfriend, I don't have a wife, I don't have a husband. Never mind. Nobody will use the term girlfriend or boyfriend if you go to a plant and talk to the plant. They do not know whether it's a girlfriend. First talk to the nature. Tangal Prema Chandra. Talk to the Chandrama to the moon. 
Even if you don't get it in your hand. Wow. Hey, Tangali. The sweet wind which blows. You feel the loud, the beautiful light. And in the Zen they say, The secret of my school is, the eye sees it, but no hand can take hold of it. The moon in the stream, this is the secret of my school. The moon in this, you can see it, I can see it, you cannot take it, you cannot hold it, you cannot purchase it, you cannot lock it. If you understand that, to talk to your first plan, embrace the tree and allow the wind to enter into your heart, which you are not allowed any of your relatives or friends enter into your heart. You are blocking your love, asking for love. When love comes, you are blocking your heart. The wind, allow the wind to embrace, enter into your heart. The sunlight to enter into your heart. And for the first time you find when the rain comes, you couldn't even, not your body, body will run to get the ozone water. You become very healthy. You have related you have created a relationship with nature once you have the relationship with the nature wow the whole world is related to you the first time you understood you have to water you have to do karma yoga you have to practice every day you have to practice your karma your yoga and so many people are calling themselves as hindus in india and they don't practice yoga how dare you call yourself hindus or the people of india if you don't practice your samskriti in that lies the raja yoga the jnana yoga the bhakti yoga and the karma yoga practice together we can allow love to bloom and remove the mental asylum